But when I say I know what I know, I really do know what I know. Around this time last week, this was before we got video because we broke the Draymond news on the air. Um, as we came on the air, we talked about where would we be a week from now with Draymond? Would it be a suspension mm -hmm. or would Draymond be seeing a fine? I said a fine. You said he would definitively be suspended. Yeah. Um, he's not suspended. Apparently, they had a meeting um, with the ownership, with the coaches, with Jordan Poole, Draymond one-on-one. -on -one. And they came to a conclusion about whatever it is, and Draymond's back with the team. Hmm. What do you think about Draymond getting it's getting to actually? I don't want to say get away with it, but not seeing any real consequences. Golden State or cowards, hmm. right? Because look, if you go to Jordan Poole and you ask him, "Yo, should we suspend him?" He's not gonna say yes, right? Right? Because he want to be a team guy. Right? Because he wants to be a team guy, he doesn't want to seem like a snitch. Like, okay, right. Jordan Poole said to suspend Draymond. Let's suspend him. So that's the wrong person to ask, right? right? So if you can suspend Draymond Green for getting into a shouting match and disrespecting Kevin Durant, why can't you not suspend him for sucker punching a teammate yeah. who, A, could have got a concussion, yeah. who you could have broke his jaw, they would have lost him for 20-something games, Yeah, yeah. right? The yeah. Draymond Green's play at this level right now does not warrant it. Does not warrant special the amount of excuses and special treatment that he's getting. It's ridiculous, bro. Yeah. So Woj, um, a little while ago, I think maybe an hour or two ago, put out a video explaining why the Warriors decided not to suspend Draymond. And from what I gather, I'm paraphrasing, mm -hmm. um, ring, there's only one preseason game left, and then it's a ring night next Tuesday or Thursday, I believe, against the, the Lakers. They don't want Draymond to miss ring night because he was a part of the championship team. And they feel like it'll speak louder or more valuable if Draymond is a part of the team to be with the team to celebrate together a championship they won just a few months ago, as opposed to sending a message about you're suspended for almost knocking out your teammate. Um, do you buy any of that or do you think that they're just. Bro, if you move ring night to game 10 instead of game one, who cares? <laughs> who cares? So, so what do you? It is tradition right, so that they do it on opening night. Keep, I, I, so, I will, keep it, so what are you telling Jordan Poole, who you guys are saying that this is the this is the young guy that's gonna potentially lead your franchise when the when the older guys retire or get traded, or whatever? What are you telling him? Because it was a sucker punch, and that's another thing other people need to understand. Just just because I shove you doesn't mean that I deserve to get punched like that. Right. If you would have told me from the get this is what you about. Yeah. And we would have threw the hands you knocked me out. That's another thing. Yeah. It's a sucker punch. So what are you telling Jordan Poole? Me personally, I couldn't play with this dude again. Nah, I couldn't. No way. No way. No way. And yo, anytime, every time I watch the video, the one thing that I noticed, because people are talking about it's not a sucker punch, the entire time Jordan Rules, Jordan Poole is like not even looking at this guy. So that means he's not even, he doesn't even want the confrontation of just going back and forth face to face. Draymond is getting closer and he's still looking away because like, you know, when you make eye contact, it becomes a little bit more intense. Now it's like, all right, mm -hmm. we're almost there, like on mm -hmm. some about it type stuff. Jordan Poole's looking away. That is the most I don't want any smoke signal you can give anybody. Like somebody's coming up to you and you're looking away like, chill, bro, chill. Even when he gets in his face, he shoves him. It's not like an aggressive shove. It's like, yo, come on, get off me, bro. Like, you're in my if, face. If, if it was, he would have probably aimed more for his head. He would have mushed his, him. Right, to mush him Like, in get the out my right. space. And then right. it would have got popping. But right. just like... When I saw the video last Friday, I couldn't believe what I was watching. Bro, I thought he it, really hit him, bro. Nah, he tried to hurt him. Right? And if that back wall wasn't there, dude, he's getting laid out on the floor. Yeah. So, again, what message do you send to the team? And it's just like, yo, at some point, cool, we won four championships with you, dude. But like, players get traded every day. <laughs> like, yeah. players get traded every day. There's a line that you can't cross, man. And, and you definitely yeah. crossed it, so... Yeah. Before we move on, I'll say this. Um, I did want to get perspectives from professional athletes because, you know, they're in the locker rooms mm -hmm. um, with, you know, where they're all types of intense stuff. I spoke to one of my guys who was a professional athlete um, and basically asked him, yo, is this normal? Have you witnessed this? Mm -hmm. He said, nah, we've seen, you know, people argue. We've seen people even like wrestle, like where you got gets close enough where you're just like pushing and then it becomes mm -hmm. like a wrestling match. But a close handed punch, a haymaker. Never seen it. He was like, there's no place for that in, 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 in the locker room. Because how can you trust somebody who tries to break your jaw? Yo, it's crazy. How can I trust you when you're trying to break my jaw? That's like, 
that's nuts. So I thought that was very interesting to hear from that. Anything could happen, man. Like a lot of people don't understand fighting is not as someone who even, you know, teaches boxing and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Fighting is not what you see in the movies, bro. Yeah, you Dude, can die don't really out there. Stand there and like trade blows like John Claude Van Damme. Like, yeah. no, if you get hit hard, like you, you can die. really die or if break somebody a blacks, or break a socket. Right. If somebody blacks, then they lose all sense and they can just go in and straight go crazy on you. And I will say this before we leave: people keep talking about, well, you know, anybody who knows, you know, street codes. When you when somebody, this is we're talking about corporate American <laughs> basketball. At the most this is like the most valuable franchise in the nba we're talking about. we're not talking about rucker park we're not talking about you know the, the harlem globe charters we're talking about the nba stop giving me all this street rules that you guys have in the, at the park and in, in the golden yeah. state warriors facility please yeah, dude everybody on twitter they're the best fighters they get the most money they, they get the most girls they drive the best cars <laughs> yeah. everybody made weather on twitter bro Yo. everybody like they're like, oh, yo, Gene, so you telling me if somebody, I'm like, yes, and a Joe Schmo in the street? Yes. Right, absolutely. We popping absolutely. off. Right. Not At my, my job? Not nah, my brother. bro. Not you my have brother. To take, you'd have to take me to an extreme level. Yeah. Like, come you gotta on, put hands man. on me. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah, dudes, yeah, the toughest dudes out here, dude. Yeah, they not. <laughs> they just be capping. Um, yeah, bro. 